Hi guys, in this video, we would be creating a pop-up pop using just CSS and HTML. So all the code for this video is available on my GitHub repo. And I would say the link for this in the description box of this video. Okay, so let's start. Our pop -up will look like this once it is created. So whenever I try to hover my, hover my mouse on this text, the pop -up will be displayed. So let's see how to create it. Let's go to the code. So let's create a div, just hold something. Right. I'm calling this div as uh, I'm giving the class which is this div. Let's name the class as AFI. This AFI would be holding everything, like uh, the popover trigger text, like the, uh, the, the text that was displayed there, or on or mouse only, this, this part, and this thing. It will have, it will have both these things. So let's first create our text. Uh, this, is our, this is our text. Let's write this is our text. Let's write inside something like hover mouse over me. Right. Now let's create a content for our pop over. So let's create a content by content. I mean this thing, this this whole thing. Let's create this. So let's create another div for that. Right. Uh, since it's holding all my pop over content, so let's add a let's name this div or add class to this div. Uh, name content. Right. Now let's create a heading for our pop over inside the content. So let's give it a heading class or a title class. This is only for the CSS purpose. If I want to style this heading or title, I can do this using class, using these CSS classes. Uh, so let's give it a pop over. And let's add text here, pop over heading. Oh, let's let's better use as of now. Uh, let's use the heading text for this purpose. Let's, let's use export export text. And let's write pop over heading. Now let's for the body part, for the content. Let's name it for the body part. Let's let's name it as add the body class CSS class here. Or like let's do pop over let's name it as pop over body because it might be confused with the body HTML tag. So let's name it pop over body. All the when the tag and when the CSS it will work. But anyhow, so let's uh, add our body here. Let's create an ordered list here. So it's an allies here. Let me list items for our list. So let's name it as point one. And then similarly point two, point three, point four, and all this. So as of now, our folder for our HTML is ready. So let's see how it looks in the browser. Yes, if you'll see, everything is displayed as of now. Our hope is we want to make this content invisible by default, right? And when we try to hover on this, then only this thing must be visible. Must be visible. So let's see how we can do that. Since we want our content to be hidden by default, so what we can do is we can create a content CSS class here in the pop over HTML and the CSS file. I have added the CSS file in the HTML style sheets. You can see this. Both are on the same level, right? Yeah. Let's create our content CSS class here. You can see the CSS class will start from this one. And then the class name content, and then I want to set its visibility as hidden by default, right? If, if I will do that and see how, let's see how it looks here. You can see this hidden by default. Now let's make it visible on the hover of our mouse over the text. For that, what we can do is we can point to the parent of this both text and the content. That is AFI in our case. You can see this is the parent of both, right? AFI. So whenever we try to hover on AFI, right? AFI this is last. I want whenever we try to hover, so that we have to use the hover state of uh, Let's use the hover state of our of our AFR CSS class. So I might try to hover on this. I want my I want my content visibility. So I can say like I'm on the AFR class is on the hover state. And inside that, in the AFR, when the whole AFR is hovered, then the content inside that AFR must be visible. So I can do it in this way. I can set visibility equals to visible. Right? So now if I will do so now if I hover my mouse on this text, this pop over content will be visible. So now let's make our pop a bit fancy. So let's add uh, to the content of this this pop over. Let's uh, add a oh, let's let's add a background color to this. Uh, let's I'm using a light base here. Let's add glitter, glitter, glitter. And let's add some padding to this pop over. Let's add a padding of 15 pixels. That will be fine. Right. Let's see now how it looks. Yeah. So it's you can see it looks like this a bit nice way a nice. Uh, uh, nice thing to have. Uh, what more we can do is that we can add a tail to this popover. A tail, I mean, we have seen multiple places on the on our website, like all the popovers have a tail, so like from there, some, something like this. I'm talking about this, like this uh, left triangle, you can see this is the tail of the popover. And I want to create a tail for my this lovely popover. Let's see how we can create that. I can just, uh, for that, I can use uh, again, I want a tail on my content, right? Just holding the, it's basically holding our popover, our content. Let's do content. For that, I have to use a pseudo class on content, and that is 
I had a good day before that, so I didn't get to the customer back. And let's first create a defense side of a tail, like we will do something, so let's defend it for that. Now let's add a border to our tail. Yeah, so let's add a border style, let's make a solid style, right? Then let's add a border width, because I want to make, make a triangle, so, uh, so of uh, creating a triangle, like triangle has three sides. So I just so following that trend, uh, I can have border width on three sides. And one side, one side can remain zero. Since I can make the width at top as zero pixel. Then comes the top after top it comes right. I want right width as ten pixel. Then the bottom width as ten pixel. And then the left width, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, the, uh, yeah, the left width, it's as ten pixels. So I just want to display the. So I just want to display the border color on one side. So what I can do is uh, I can make the border color is transparent on all other three sides. Expect like the top is transparent, the right is transparent. On the bottom, I need a color of gray. So I can use my same same color tag. And then on the right hand side, on the left hand side also goes transparent, right? So let's first see how something looks like this visible or not. Let's see. First of all, I want to go this thing this thing on the top. So what I can do is uh Let's let me put through this thing a bit. I think so. What I want is this thing, this whole layer to be to be on the, on related to our whole HTML page, and then this content inside the content and tail inside the layer on on the basis of some distance to my uh, to, distance to my layer. So like there must be some they there should be some uh, should be at some absolute distance from the layer. So for that, what we can do is we can make our Apple as uh, relate, uh, positioning as relative, I think, and our content as absolute, absolute, and similarly my uh, position of my content as absolute, I think, absolute to that uh, Apple, and simply my in my tail also as this is this content goes for my tail, and tail is also absolute, right? Now let's see what happens. Yeah, so a bit size small. Let's see now how we can move our tail, how we can display our tail. So let's let's. Uh, yeah, so this is we are here. We can our tail is somewhere here. What we can do is yeah, we can first try to move our tail up a bit. So for that, we can, since we are, I'm using actual position, so I will use top, left, right, and bottom instead of margin top, margin left, margin bottom. So I will simply use top. Now I want to move it this thing a bit above. So what I can do is top. I can be minus ten pixel or something. Now you can see my border is coming. My tail is coming from here above. So one more thing we can do is we can add some space on this on the bottom of this. We can have margin bottom, right? We can have margin bottom as ten pixels. Yeah, you can see this look, looks nicer. Yeah, so we can do the same thing here. We can, uh, yeah, we can first move it to the top by minus ten pixels. This is our tail, and then we can add some margin bottom to this text. So for that, what we can do is we can create a uh, we'll use CSS class text and then add margin bottom. Or like margin bottom, just margin bottom is fine. Make it as 10 pixels, right? If you want to scale in the center, you can, what you can do is you can use, use some right margin. Uh, so that I can do right as like there's a function called cal function, I think. You can use this. I want to, I want this on the address to the 50%. The that needs to be center, and since this table also occupies some space, so I can remove that space. Like, I'm giving that, giving that it will be occupying 10 pixels. I can see this popcorn, and my table is also in the center. So, yeah, that's all. View, thanks for watching. Bye bye.